Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. It is National Signing Day 2019. We're joined by McKendry football coach Mike Babcock and coach. The names came fast and furious this morning. Upwards of close to 50 signees on the dotted line when all is said and done. Talk about your initial impressions about this signing class. Well, I mean, there's a lot of guys that love McKendry. Um, you know, I'm really excited about this uh, recruiting class. You know, I think that we've got definitely some playmakers uh, in this group. Um, you know, I think there's going to be a couple guys that have a chance to come in and play right away. And then I think I have some guys that in, in a year or two from now that, that have a good shot. So, but, you know, I think that the future's good. Um, and I'm excited to get those guys uh, here in August. Overall, looking at the initial list, the signees uh, seem to be a good balance of both offense, defense, some special teams mixed in there. There may be one or two or five guys maybe you want to mention that could stand out early in this recruiting class. Um, you know, I mean, I think on both sides of the ball, like you said, it. You know, we wanted to, you know, be able to sure up a couple positions. You know, I think one of them that, you know, I look at and having a, a senior quarterback, you know, that ends up leaving. You know, obviously you got to replace him, and I think we have a couple of good uh, players on our team already that are going to fight for that spot this spring. Um, you know, but the, you know, one of the quarterbacks that we brought in, Caleb Fisher, um, who's a uh, who's a legacy. Um, you know, his, both of his older brothers are, are phenomenal quarterbacks here back in the day, and uh, you know, really excited to get a tough nose uh, type kid to play that type of position uh, in here. And I know he's looking forward to even competing with the older guys. You know, uh, for the spot. So um, definitely like uh, definitely like him um, at the running back position. Again, we had uh, Preston Thompson graduate this last year. So um, again, one or two guys on on roster but also have a guy from Lincoln Way West, Dante Barber, I think is a very good running back. Um, have uh, one or two others that, that uh, were recruited today as well. Uh, but again, I think that um, you know one of them, and including Dante, has a really good chance to um, come in here and, and compete for a, a travel spot, if not even the, uh, the top spot uh, as well. Um, you know, some good local talent, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, tight end Steven Dingus uh, from Freeburg. Uh, is coming here and, and even an offensive lineman with Evan Anderson at, at Triad High School. Uh, so it's always nice to kind of get those those local kids offensively. Um, defensively, uh, one of our local kids who I think has a good chance to play fairly quickly is uh, Sidney Houston, who's kind of a, uh, a linebacker, defensive end, hybrid type kid, uh, great athlete, uh, super person, um, good academics, great, great kid all around. I think he's a very good kid for us. Um, I've got a couple, uh, the D-line were huge, you know, this year. So, uh, Braden Von Lincoln, um, uh, Brendan Rona, uh, like I said, Sydney Houston, Josh, uh, Josh Bly, just to name a couple, uh, that the big boys up front, you know, on defense, I think are, are, are spectacular. Uh, linebacker, a guy by the name of uh, Chase Graham, um, I think is uh, phenomenal. Even a, a kid out of Ohio, Jake Hoffmeyer, uh, who uh, I think can kind of, both of them can, can compete and, See, uh, see what we got going. Um, in the back half, I've got uh, guys like Andrew Sherry, uh, Denzel Stevens, uh, even from uh, Fox High School, Gavin McGinnis, you know, kind of round it out. So um, I think all, of, all, both offense and defense were good. Uh, had one or two kickers, you know, even in the boat. You know, you can't forget about them with uh, Ryan Castle and Caleb Berry. Um, you know, both are, are phenomenal athletes. And so hopefully they can, you know, really push the guys that we have here on roster and, and hope to compete for a spot right now. Coach, obviously there are certain uh, high school programs that you go to year after year that are able to produce some talent that feed the Bearcat program, but you've also scratched the door and gotten your foot in some new places as well, and it seems to have been a good mix for you guys and, and to find some new outreach places to get players from, and that has been a success this year. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I always feel like you, you've got to concentrate on, on your state. You know, we've always prided ourselves in recruiting the state of Illinois and even St. Louis, you know, as well. Uh, with 90 plus percent of our players that are from there, but you alluded to it. You know, we're going to find players. You know, in this day and age with social media and the internet, you know, it's it's hard to go unnoticed. So we were able to pick up on a couple kids that uh, you know are from out of the area, but more importantly, just kind of fit the culture that we're trying to create here. You know, I think we've got a great culture with our guys that that are here. They're hard nosed, hard working. Um, you know, and I think the the guys you know that are not only in state but out of state, I think they fit that well. Obviously, there's still a lot of talent coming back from last year's squad, a team that won six games and competed well in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. But they're through the graduation, like you mentioned, some, some key positions. There's some spots open. Do you anticipate some of these newcomers coming in and fighting right away for a job? Uh, you know, I think so. You know, I mean, I, we've 
<laughs> we've had a lot of guys sign today, you know, and it's hard to go through everybody. Um, you know, but really sometimes it's the guys that you may not even notice, you know, that the guys that, you know, I might not have even said, you know, just now, just because one, they're tough, they're hard nosed, they've got a lot of grit, you know, and that's why it's so exciting to get them here in August to truly see what they can do. Um, I think every year we've had at least half a dozen guys that have, that have played as true freshmen, and I'm sure this, this class will be no different. Um, I'm actually more excited to see which one of those are going to step up and, and do it. So, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. You know, a long time since then. So, uh, got to get our guys going that are here. And but overall, really excited for for the day. Exciting day for the McKendry football program. You got like like you said, six months to see them in action. But a great get on a lot of guys. Congratulations on the success success you had in the 2019 signing day. And we'll catch up with you soon. Appreciate it. Thanks. Don't forget, spring ball is coming up. We'll catch up with head coach Mike Babcock throughout the spring practice sessions, and we'll talk further on mckbearcats.com.